Good afternoon, YouTube by Shunkers. Another drive talking video. Not to be confused with jive talking video. Ri drive talking video, not jive talking video. <laughs> anyway, Sunday morning, actually Sunday afternoon already. Cold in New York, 39 degrees or high, a little breezy, but no snow in the forecast. So anyway, in my area, a plastic bag police have been out and no more plastic bags. So I went to Walmart yesterday and I didn't bring a bag because I forgot, so now I gotta remember. So I had a cart full of little items that I had to wheel to the car and individually put them in the car. Really disturbing. But it is what it is. Plastic's gone. They won. But it's just frustrating. They go from plastic bags being free. Okay, so now we ban the bags. But why not, if you spend $25 or $30, don't they give you a free paper bag? No. No matter what you spend, you got to pay $0.05 cents for a paper bag. I don't understand how this works. So the store saves money, and they penalize the customer. Typical. You know, we really live in a very greedy society, unfortunately. I'll tell you a really interesting story. We did work to a 2015 Dodge Power Master van. So as a standard practice, when a car comes in, we look up uh, TSBs, which is Technical Service Bulletins, for that year to see if anything pertains to the problem at hand. So in this particular case, we had to do the transmission on this van. And it's a work van for a commercial company. So now there's a single transmission mount that's on the driver's side. That's a critical mount. So when, as I look up the TSBs, there's a TSB for a new updated mount and bracket. So these mounts are known to break. Now, they're not breaking because of age, they're breaking because there's a defect in the manufacturing of them. So now, one would think the manufacturer has screwed up here, or whoever made the mount screwed up, but ultimately it should fall on the manufacturer's shoulders, that they would at least give you that mount for their cost. But no, they don't do that. So guess what? The mount is $550, my cost. Now, how is that right? Now, here's what happens. If that mount breaks, there's a good chance the motor and transmission as one unit can come out of the vehicle because the mount that's on the passenger side cannot handle the weight when the one mount on the driver's side breaks, so the whole engine and transmission can drop out of the vehicle. And the only chance you have is that the wire and any cables attached to anything will prevent it from totally falling out. Now that's an outrage. So I called the customer and told him the scenario. He says, but you know, listen, this is my cost is $550 on the mount. It's, it's recommended that it be changed. If you don't want to do that, it's up to you. It's your vehicle, but you're going to have to sign something that you refuse to have the updated mount. This way I'm not liable. But my point of the whole thing is, that's not right. It, it, that's, that's really, does the motor have to come out and hurt somebody before they'll do something about it? I understand the amount of money involved that could be devastating to the manufacturer, but at least, as I said, 
give the math for what it costs them so they don't lose money but they 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 do the right thing and you see we see this more and more a friend of mine Samsung TV black line he wakes up one morning puts it on there's a black line down the screen of course he Googles it many people have the same problem Samsung is doing nothing about it TV's only two or two or three years old no more warranty you have to live with the black line now if you didn't see pages and pages of people with the same problem you say well I have one unit that's bad but it's a lot of people have the similar problem so there's a problem with those TVs yet they're not stepping up to the plate they don't acknowledge it they don't care you basically live with the black line now once again they could come out with a statement and and people would love this if a company did this listen we uh, we had problems with these TVs we understand it uh, we're going to give you uh, X amount of dollars credit towards the newer unit that doesn't have the problem. Guess what? If they did that, I'll make sure I buy a Samsung TV in the future. Instead, if I'm going to buy a TV, guess what TV it's not going to be? A Samsung. Not that it can't happen to other manufacturers, but Samsung didn't do the right thing. And it all goes back to greed. There's no other explanation for it. How much money is enough for these co these companies? Now you see the other thing in the news: the Boeing uh, CEO is stepping down or being forced out. He's going to leave with a $50 million package. $50 million! Here's a guy under his watch that few planes have crashed under his watch because of his policies, and he leaves with $50 million. Now, that's a penalty, huh? I don't get it. Why do we reward bad behavior that's an outrage and you see this time and time again with these companies now getting back to Dodge part of the problem with Dodge is when they went bankrupt and the government bailed them out. The story I was told is, and I believe it based on what I'm seeing, is a lot of the vendors, they got screwed out of the money that they were owed when they went bankrupt. And Chrysler's using a lot of the same vendors that manufacture parts, and they've doubled the price on a lot of parts to recoup the money they lost. Now I say that's believable because uh, if you buy transmission lines for a Dodge, they're three to four hundred dollars. If you buy them for another manufacturer, they're like ninety-five dollars. Similar type of design. So once once again, because of their actions and no fault of the consumer, yet the consumer foots the bill something wrong with that it's not right so anyway that's my rant for today I uh, hope you enjoyed it another drive video thank you hope you have a good day have a good weekend and I'll catch you on the next one